Erasmus, and I'm here looking at a new snapshot that has uh, just come out for Minecraft. Uh, it came out, I don't know, nearly 24 hours ago, I guess. And this snapshot has some features that Jeb is working on for Minecraft 1.4, uh, which I'm guessing isn't going to be released for a long time since uh, Minecraft 1.3 has only just been released quite recently. Anyway, you'll notice I have a zombie egg in my hand, and there is a very good reason for that. Because one of these guys is your regular old zombie, and the other guy looks a little bit different. He's like some kind of... I, I think the villagers have been breeding with the zombies. Those sick, twisted bastards. And they've created a, a monstrosity. Um, I'm not sure if these guys are tougher than the normal zombies, so uh, let's... I'm going to give myself a sword. How do I do that? Here we go. Let's, uh, let's just get an iron sword. And... Change my game mode back to survival. Oh, and here he comes. He's coming to get me. Let's, uh... Three hearts. I think that's pretty normal. Pretty normal damage. This is on hard difficulty at the moment. And it looks as though we just dropped the, the same old zombie drop. Let's just see if... Okay, so, so far I've put down three eggs gotten two normal zombies and one of the uh, testificate zombies. This is the other normal zombie here. So I'm not sure how often a um, testificate zombie will zo will spawn. I, I don't know if that's what they're called. That's that's what I'm calling them. It's yeah. It's it's very sick if you ask me. Uh, I don't know what those villagers are doing. They must be getting quite desperate. Or maybe they're getting raped by the zombies. Maybe that's why the zombies are knocking down their doors. I don't know. Either way, it's uh, quite a disgusting outcome. Okay, so I'm back in creative mode. I'm just going to place down a whole load of zombie eggs just so we can get some kind of sense for how often a testificate zombie is going to spawn. As you can see, they're, they're mostly normal zombies. I think there's one testificate one around here somewhere. Oh, he's got a shovel. Now that is another thing that has been added. Um, what it says on the change log is that zombies and skeletons have new items depending on the difficulty level. Now this is on hard difficulty at the moment. So yeah, as you can see we've got another, another testificate zombie there. I'm not sure how many different items the, the zombies are going to have. It does say they have new items, in plural, so I mean, that, I guess that would suggest that there is more than one new item that they can be carrying, although there's the, uh, the shovel again. Let's just uh, kill them and see if they drop it. Well, I'm in creative, so they're not going to drop it, and I don't think I should uh, risk changing it to survival with all these zombies around, so uh, that's something you guys can test for yourself. Let's get some skeleton eggs and see if we can uh, get a skeleton carrying uh, a new item. Oh, of course they're gonna burn straight away. Why are the zombies not burning, but the skeletons are? I don't know if maybe that's a bug. Jeb? There you go, there's a bug for you. I think it's a bug. Um, pretty sure skeletons normally burn in... Whoa, look at this guy! He's got enchanted... He's got an enchanted helmet. And he's got leather armor. Oh, and he did. Okay, so that... He dropped his, uh, dropped his leather pants. Okay, that's pretty cool. Let's get a few more going, see what we can... See if we can get another one. Oh, okay. It's got full leather armor, no enchantment this time. Okay, so it's. I mean, it's obviously not not going to happen very often, but often enough, often enough, I, I guess. Uh, given that we've already seen a couple with with the armor on. Uh, 
that guy's got an enchanted bow. Um, that's that's not new though. Okay. So, and there's a few other changes that have happened. Uh, there's some changes to the villager trading, but I'm not really going to bother going through that because uh, that's that's less interesting to me. Uh, what else have we got? I noticed that there's a work in progress block here. Um, it doesn't have a crafting recipe yet, as far as I know. I uh, don't really know what it does. Okay, I'm back, and uh, I've done a little bit of research and actually figured out a little bit more about these blocks. Now, you'll see in front of me I have a uh, pyramid made out of diamond. Um, I could have made that out of diamond blocks, iron blocks, gold blocks, or emerald blocks, and as far as I know, uh, so far, it doesn't make any difference to the outcome. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this uh, work in progress block on top of the pyramid and you'll see it emits light and it should, there we go, uh, there is now a beacon which uh, first of all would be incredibly useful for finding your way to places or finding your way home if you set up a beacon. Um, if you're you know playing vanilla Minecraft you don't have a, uh, a mini map on or anything. Um, so that's uh, I guess the most obvious use for it but that's not the actual use for it. So if we right click on it now you can see that these uh, I guess attributes or stats um, they're not greyed out anymore. I can, can actually click on them um, now you'll see that there's like uh, three pyramid symbols here. So we have a, uh, you can see if you look very closely, it has kind of green blocks and then a yellow block on top. So I think that yellow block is to signify the, um, the work in progress block. So if you make a pyramid that's just, uh, you have just one level underneath the work in progress block or the beacon uh, let's call it the beacon uh, just because that's what it looks like uh, then it will only unlock these two if you have two layers underneath it it will unlock these four and if you have a pyramid like the one that I have built it will unlock all of them uh, so we can what can we do we can say click speed um, I think regeneration must just always be there. I'm not. I'm not entirely sure about that. Uh, I didn't mean to do that. So if I click speed and uh, put an iron block in there, and once it, once again, I can put any of these blocks in. It doesn't make a difference so far as I can tell. Uh, that may change given that it's a work in progress, though. So anyway, I click done, and now. Uh, now, okay, you'll see that I have uh, speed turned on and the time is going down but it's not going down to zero, it's just keep on looping back up and then back down a little bit. So that means that whenever I'm within a certain radius of this block, that stat will apply to me. So if I move away, it will start counting down and it won't loop back up. Uh, I'm not sure what the radius is. I s appear to still be in the radius over here. So I think the, 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 the bigger the pyramid, the bigger the radius is. So this is actually quite a decent radius. I have to go quite far away for... Yeah, it's qu that's a really big radius actually. Okay, so I'm outside the radius now. So I'll quickly jump back in before I lose my speed. <coughs> uh, now I believe you can set up multiple uh, of these with overlapping radiuses, or radii I should say. Uh, and then if you're in the radius of, of more than one pyramid and you have different, um, different stats or, or attributes, whatever you want to call them, I'm not sure what they are, effects, um, then you will get both of those. So let's uh, cancel, can we cancel that? I, I don't really, what can I do? Okay, so I can just change it. So haste, I'm not sure what haste does. I imagine that it's something to do with mining maybe. Maybe mine quicker. 
Uh, jump boost, now that's an interesting one. Let's try that. Let's put a gold ingot in there. And. Okay, so I seem to have uh, a bit of a bigger than normal jump, I would say. It's kind of hard to tell, really. Anyway, let's go see what else we can we can get. Uh, strength and resistance. Um, so obviously, you know, you, you I guess you're going to want to set some of these up around your base and um, help protect yourself. I guess um, I guess it's a way of having permanent uh, potion effects while you're within a certain area. Um, obviously, to build a pyramid of this size out of um, well, any of the blocks would be quite expensive, especially diamond blocks. It would take you forever to do legit. Um, but as it stands, you can do it out of iron blocks and it still works. I'm not sure if, if that is going to change or not, though. Anyway, and the final thing which uh, I want to show you is this uh, command. I think it's called a command console? Console command. Now, the only way to get this is to type in uh, slash give and then your name and then 137 which is the uh, the item number you can't get it out of the creative industry uh, creative inventory and what you can do with this is you can any of the um, commands that you type into that you can type into the console like uh, changing the time or toggling the downfall you can type into here so let's uh, Let's do toggle downfall as an example. Okay, so that has set that command in that console now. Now what we're going to get is uh, we'll get a lever and some redstone. And now anytime we do that, it is going to toggle a downfall. Which would be very annoying, but I mean, if you if you did want to be able to turn rain on at the flick of a switch, uh, I think if I do it again, it should toggle it. Again. Yeah, okay. So because it's just a toggle command, you uh, flip it twice, and it should stop in a second. I think the, yeah, there's there's always been a bit of a delay on that uh, particular command. Flip it again, toggle it again. Uh, I think, yeah, so you can change that command, so let's do set time day, we'll do it night because it's, it's daytime at the moment, and I can do that, and it should set the time tonight. Maybe it is night. I think I have my brightness turned up. It's, uh, um, did I type that wrong? I don't know. Anyway, you get the idea. You get the idea. Let's see if this works. This damn raid, I can't even tell if it's dawn or dusk or... I don't know what's going on. Let's turn it off. Okay, there we go. So, <coughs> looks as though you need to have the uh, the little message down the bottom telling you that it has actually toggled it. Um, it is daytime. Okay, let's turn that off. Change the command back to slash set time night. Done. Okay, command set. And that's not working. I'm not sure if maybe you have to have a new one. Don't know. Or am I doing the command wrong? Is it time set night? I have no idea. I could be getting it completely wrong for all I know. Okay, I had the command wrong. Derp. 
shows how much I know. Anyway, uh, so that's another. <coughs> Excuse me again, that's another uh, interesting thing. Would be very good for adventure maps, I imagine. Um, you can just flip a switch to turn it to night so you can go to bed, you can turn rain on, pretty much anything that uh, you can put in there. So you can uh, also use these commands here. So you can use, uh, I think that's an at symbol, at P to target nearest player. I think slash kill is perhaps a command you could use. Um, so maybe slash kill at P would kill the nearest player, that could be fun. Uh, target a random player, that could also be fun. You could give uh, items to, to the nearest player or to random players. So uh, there's a lot of things you could do with this, I think. Anyway, um, that's all for the moment. Thanks for watching. 